stopped by an ethnic uh, supermarket this evening on the way home from work uh, to do some shopping. And on a whim, I asked the butcher if he carried lamb's heads uh, because of a recipe that I saw on YouTube. And he walked me over to one of the display cases, and lo and behold, they had one goat's head. Or actually, this says lamb's head, so I guess I could have sworn he said it was a goat's head, but the label says lamb head. Um, this is one lamb head um, in its entirety. Uh, it cost $4.99 for one piece, total price. So this lamb head, or lamb's head, whatever, um, it's basically five bucks. I had him uh, cut it down the middle um, so that I could access the, the tongue, the brain, etc. on the inside. I don't have a saw uh, to cut the head with or bone, any kind of bone saw, and I don't have the patience for that. But uh, luckily, your, your friendly neighborhood butcher is more than happy to assist you. Uh, quite frankly, as I saw him putting the head across the uh, band saw that they used to cut uh, large pieces of meat and bone, uh, I got a little scared because his hand and arm seemed to come very close to that blade. So, um, and this is not something you don't want to try at, at, uh, at home. I mean, the butcher has the equipment to cut the head from the t along the top line here um, so that um, you, know, you can access the tongue and the brain on the inside. Uh, so basically, I have two halves of a lamb's head. Uh, I am going to cook one half of this head uh, by broiling it in the oven. And quite literally, all I'm going to do is, I have a, a pan here that I lined with aluminum foil. I'm going to put it um, in the oven at 400 degrees for two hours, uh, cover it with some olive oil and oregano, salt, pepper, etc. Uh, don't have any garlic. Uh, because um, I didn't buy any, um, and I'm not really that much of a garlic fan. I can I can take it or leave it when it comes to garlic, uh, but in this case, um, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Uh, put the lamb's head p half or halves if you're, you're going to cook both pieces um, in the oven. Doesn't matter if it's face down or face up or whatever. Um, cook it for two hours, literally. I mean, that's it. That is it. You're, you're taking a piece of meat and bone and broiling it for two hours. And once uh, once that once the time period is up, you're done. So um, the other half of the lamb set, I'm going to cook in a tomato stew uh, at some other time. Basically, what I'll do with that is I'll simply take the other half of the lamb's head. I'll boil it in a large pot for one hour to soften the meat. And then I'm going to uh, put more water back in the pot and put in um, onions, tomato sauce, tomato paste, uh, tomato halves or holes or whatever, um, cayenne pepper, paprika, um, salt, pepper, oregano, and basically I think two or three ladles worth of olive oil and then let that boil at a medium heat until the water reduces. And that's pretty much it. I mean, um, I was looking at some other YouTube videos and I came across um, some YouTube videos of lamb's heads being cooked. I mean, you can, you can cook it as a stew, which I will do at a later date. This evening, I'm going. I'm taking the easy way out. Preheat an oven uh, to 400 degrees. Pop this guy in a pan that's been lined with aluminum foil. Um, put some olive oil. Um, cut up an onion. Spread it around. Uh, salt, pepper, oregano. Um, if I get the urge, maybe some cayenne pepper and paprika, and leave it in for two hours, and then when the time is up, you pull it out and eat. Um, the lamb's head is going to have the tongue, it's going to have the brain, uh, people will also eat the back of the eye, uh, and of course the meat and the cheek. Uh, don't forget to rinse out um, the lamb's head, uh, make sure there aren't any leftover hairs, actually there shouldn't be, the whole, I mean the skin's been taken off, but basically you get the idea, and it really is that simple. Uh, when I return, uh, I will, it'll be uh, after the two-hour cooking period. Stay tuned. Actually, I wanted to uh, give you a better look at the um, the head. This, of course, is the inside, uh, the top, the front, the back, the bottom. You can see the uh, veal brain here. I'm sorry, not veal, lamb. Uh, lamb brain here. Uh, half of the tongue. Uh, this is nothing here. This is just the sinuses. This is absolutely nothing here. You don't eat this. Um, on the other side, of course, you've got the um, meat along the cheek and the bottom, and of course the eye. So I just wanted to um, 
give you a look at the uh, lamb's head before I popped it in the oven. I did rinse this out, of course, um, and that is what that is what it looks like. So I'm um, going to put it in going to put it in the um, uh, foil lined sheet. Put some olive oil on it, spices, etc., and pop it in the oven. One last look. The inside, the brain. This is the you don't eat this. These are the this is the nose, of course, the teeth. You don't eat all this, but it's got the uh, the tongue. Turn it over, and you've got the cheek meat and the eye. It's been about um, let's see. Actually, it's been close to 50, it's about 50 minutes, 50 minutes since I put this in. I'm thinking maybe I, um, it was the first experiment, this is on the too high. Um, actually, I'm going to take this out. Uh, hang on a second. Okay, uh, this lamb's head was in the oven for 50 minutes at 400 degrees. Um, recipe that I saw on YouTube basically said to put it in for two hours. Um, I think this could stand a bit more cooking. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to turn it over. I don't think it's 100% ready, but I'm not, I'm not uh, sure if the... Um, here's the brain. Well, the brain looks nice. The brain The brain looks nice. I'm um, going to have to make a decision. I'm going to probably pop it back in for a while longer. Uh, just, But I wanted to take it out to show it to you how this looked uh, at the 50 minute mark. Okay, the verdict is that for the meat to be done, when you put a fork into the meat, uh, the cheek meat or you know, the exterior, um, the fork has to go in really smoothly. The meat is really sort of a bit rubbery at the moment. Um, so the verdict is put it back in the oven for another hour and uh, literally walk away because um, it'll cook itself. Now, while I had the uh, lamb's head out and was checking it out, uh, the brain pretty much fell out. The brain's done for all intents and purposes. Um, this is this is what it looks like that that uh, brain half. Uh, this is what the other side looks like. But I'm not going to have this. Now. I'm going to let it cool. And quite frankly, prefer brains uh, bread. Well, I'll have a little bit. Have a little bit right now. Very light. Very light. With a livery aftertaste. Yeah, that's the thing with brain, any kind of brain. I had veal brain last week, weekend. And now, of course, this is a half of the, like the lamb's brain. Um, it's soft meat, melts in your mouth like butter, and it has a livery taste to it. Livery, livery taste, livery aftertaste. But the verdict for the lamb's head is it's going to stay in at 400 degrees for another hour. So uh, that is that. Okay, it's uh, been about another hour. Woo, steam. Okay. Oh, I need some light. Okay, I, I turned the uh, I turned the head so that the uh, outside is facing down. That way, it would um, the meat of the cheek and the outside would um, uh, stay moist from the drippings in the uh, in the foil there. Let's take this out and see well, how it's turned out so far. Oops. Okay. Oops. Oh, it's sticky. That's a lot of fat. Let me put this down for a sec. There you have it. There's the. Uh, of course, I took some meat off of here earlier to uh, taste test it. Oh, yeah! Look at that. It goes right in. It goes right in the meat. It goes right in. It goes right in, and it's got some drippings. Oh, the tongue, especially the tongue. The tongue is right here, as you can see. Here's the here's the tongue. 
uh, the tongue is cooked, uh, the fork is going right into the meat like it's butter. Oh, so this is done. And actually, I'm going to try a little bit. I'm going to try a little bit right now. One moment. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wham. Yeah. Congratulations. And here's the eyeball, or what's left of it. We have a gooey mess. Let's give it a taste. I wonder if the lens is in here. Here we go. Let's give this a taste. Mmm. Very like cartilage. Not bad. So, anyway, get yourself lamb head. Have the butcher take the saw and cut it in half so that it looks like, you know, from the top. So you've got two pieces. Uh, put it in the pan with foil. Uh, drench it in olive oil, salt, pepper, oregano. I put some paprika too. Some people put garlic and onions and blah blah blah. It's up to your own personal taste, but this really doesn't need anything. And remember to put it, to put it upside to put it with the outside part facing down. That way, the uh, the drippings, which this is this is all good stuff right here. This oil, it's part olive oil and part fat from the lamb side. Uh, you could use this uh, to fry eggs or whatever. I mean, this is or dip bread in. This is good stuff. But keep it like this while it's cooking with the uh, meat, the cheek side down, so that it, uh, the meat does not dry out. Anyway, that's it. And yes, it's that easy to cook a lamb's head. It is that easy because all you have to do is basically have the butcher cut it in half with a saw, uh, bring it home, rinse it out, put it in a pan with some oil, salt, pepper, oregano, paprika, or whatever you want to put in it, and then put it in, the, in an oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours, cheek side down, and you're done. It is that simple. Um, take care.